ng pwesto para meron sila puntahan. Paraan kung paano pagbuhay nila yung pamilya nila at hindi sila habang buhay ganyan. At grade school pa lang, sinasabi na ng mga magulang, anak, mag-aral ka na mahusay para makapasok ka sa NCAA, sa eskwela mga membro ng UAAP, NCAA, para makalaro ka ng basketball. Pag magaling ka, kukunin ka nitong mga teams na ito at pag na magaling na magaling ka, pwede kang pumunta sa PBA. Kalala ko noon si Ed Ocampo, apat na beses pumunta sa Olympics. Ang Olympics isang beses, apat na taon isang beses, di ba? Kung pumunta ka na apat na beses, nabing alin na taon, wala ka na mapapadala kung di si Ed Ocampo. Si Ed Ocampo was my very, very good friend. He died too young, but I'm saying that so many, 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 many others could have made it to the Olympics if the training program, etc., etc., was you know, intact and development in sports, in sports, in all these different NSAs, sports associations were, uh, um, could have been laid out properly. What else do I, do I mean when I talk about honesty in sports or integrity in sports? It is also respect for the rules of the game and respect respect for the needs of the sport. Why, why so? Alam nyo, hindi pa ako pumapasok sa skwela, hindi pa ako nakapagpasok sa kinder, yung isang memorial nandyan na. Noon, yung populasyon ng Pilipinas, baka 15 milyones. Ngayon, 95 milyones na Pilipino. Yun pa rin yung isang memorial. There is so much dishonesty because politicians and leaders will say sports, itong paraan kung paano hindi mag-a-addict yung mga bata, blah, 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 ganito, di ba? Bigyan natin ng paligsahan, ganito din magbibigyan ng karangalan sa Pilipinas. Pero yung Rizal Memorial, the National Coliseum, still looks the same way, almost, as it did 50 years ago maybe more than 50 years ago. So as I said earlier, if you cannot put your money where your mouth is, don't talk about developing Philippine sports or developing sports or championing sports. If Mr. Pangilinan is carrying the um, Saman basketball, it is because he's willing to put in the money and we're now looking for somebody like that for swimming. Swimming is also very masalimot ang usapin. Susan Papa knows that. <coughs> you have an NSA head who seemingly cannot do the job because in 24 years, you only have two bronze medals in the Asian Games. And your coach is not replaced. Ano nyo yan? Pag kayo ay dinananalo, wala nang trabaho yung coach. Ganun lang yun. If Lauro Mumar was our coach for the longest time, it was because we were winning championships during his time. If Tito Eduque was our coach for a long time, it was because he was winning championships for a long time. And that's what coaching is all about. Kung hindi mo mapapanalo yung team mo, we have to be in examining why. Hindi ka marunong mag-recruit, hindi ka marunong magtulo, whatever it is, o wala kang pera. Wala kang pagpakain, wala kang pamirienda. So if we get, get real and get honest, there's a lot we need to do. And sports is not only one monolithic thing. There's sports dito banda, there's sports dito banda, di different categories, different ways of doing things, different ways of skinning a cap. So there's a man basketball in Filipinas. All right, so there is. And there's BAP. And there's PBA. And there's so many other things. <coughs> but if you're fighting for something, there has to be 99% level of honesty and integrity in sports. I don't know what the intramurals is today about basketball. I see it go haywire in cycling, in shooting, in this and that. One time I was in Scoop Kamayan and Eddie Alinea or one in, in this our school, Diliman Preparatory School, sana ko may anak kayo, may apo, pamangkin, etc. 
Doon yung i-enroll sa eskwela namin. Yung coach namin ngayon sa junior team namin ay si Rensi Bahar. Rensi Bahar is our coach. Dayong Mendoza is our athletic moderator. Nakdad Dagan is our coach in Taekwondo. By the way, we just won the best in Taekwondo for the Palaro for Metro Manila so we can compete in Dapitan. And Diliman Prep School is also um, the best in Taekwondo for the Paya. Young uh, categories for uh, uh, Taekwondo, high school and grade school. And Jaco Lizardo, you know Jaco Lizardo? Jaco Lizardo started in grade one in Diliman Preparatory School when we started with Taekwondo. So in other words, we were able to produce a Jaco Lizardo, Kabil Alombro, Golda Takulo. These are all gold medalists when they went to Korea, to Vietnam, and to Turkey when they competed as part of the Philippine team. We can do it. Now in swimming, we have five potentials. Cordero, Denji, Denji Cordero, Bartolome from UST, the two, and one is uh, Dogaros, Dorados. 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 Yeah. Kids. It, as I said, there's no shortcut in sports. We cannot produce champions by importing champions. The swimmers that were imported by the Philippine Amateur Swimming Association cost them 3,000 US dollars every month. Tatlong libon dolya. 150 mil isang buwan. Sa isang import. Kulela pa rin tayo. Mag-i-import ka lang at manalo kayo ng gold medal, okay, hindi problema yun. Pero kung mag-i-import ka at kulela sa mata lang yung sarili mong swimmers, nag-i-ingalo, coaches nag-i-ingalo, and then that's a crime. That's an extremely dishonest decision and it is dishonestly motivated. Your, when your motives are dishonest, your strategies, your strategies are going to be devastating, devastatingly damaging. And so your end game, in the end game, your end goal is also zero. So again, I gotta run. I wish I could talk to you the whole day. for sharing with us the wisdom. I would like to say also that four of my children are graduates of the Liman Preparatory School. And two of them, two of the boys, made it to the Philippine Science High School. That's how good the Liman Preparatory School is. I can vouch for that. Thank you. Once more, let's give uh, Madame Cosette